understand why people want to backslide to the world of sin. The children of Israel stand at the Red Sea and the Bible say how to remember the watermelon, the leek, and the onion. And it's all Red Sea and say, Moses, why are you brought here to die? Can you remember, my friend, there was in glory to God, there was in Egypt and they were building, they were building and there was slavery. Why would you want to go back to Egypt? But the Bible say they want to go back to Egypt and God told Moses, Moses, what you have in your hand? Go to God and Moses say, a rod and God said, stretch forth thy rod. And when Moses stretched forth the rod, go to God and see her. Hallelujah, was standing up and the Bible say they walk through dry. I believe it, my friend. That's why I'm not backsliding. If you call Jesus Christ, imaginary friend, I don't care what you call Jesus. You might call Jesus a spook. You might call him a thought, but I stop by to tell you, my friend, I don't care what you call him. Jesus Christ is the best thing that ever happened to my life. I can't compare Jesus Christ with sex because they no comparison. I can't compare Jesus Christ with money. They no comparison. I can't compare Jesus Christ with my wife. They no comparison. They nothing in this world compare to my love I have for Jesus Christ. So I'm telling you, 10 reasons why people backslide. They backslide because they're tired of being bribed by these pastors. They're tired of being glory to God, be lit by these pastors. They, they got beef with the church. They say it's something better out there. I come to tell you, they nothing better in the world but sin and death and corruption. Look at what happened in California. They glory to God. They went in the hallelujah, the morgue and they killed people. They hot, and then the cops stopped him. He, go, he, rich, he lifted up his hand and say, it's me. Hey, go to God. I'm saying to you, my friend, what does a prophet of man gain the whole world and lose his soul? Why go back? Hallelujah. The Bible say, the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul have no pleasure in him, but we are not to them that draw back unto perdition, but the saving of your soul. I'm so glad I'm saved, I'm sanctified, and Holy Ghost feel. Oh, go. Don't backslide. I don't care how tough it get. I don't care how rough it get. I don't care people talk about it like a dog. My friend, don't go back because they nothing back there but sin. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Why people backslide? I'm going to tell you why people backslide. People backslide because they want things microwave. They want things when they pray for something. If God don't give it to them, they get mad with God. Hallelujah. Wow. God know what your heart desire. God know if it gets you the husband, you're going to backslide. God know if you give it a wife, you're going to backslide. So God ain't going to give it to you. But sometime, my friend, he give you a heart desire and you turn out and curse God. Oh, glory to God. The Bible says, glory to God, how the blessing of the Lord make you rich and add no sorrow to it. So if God bless you, God is not going to have sorrow with it. So why people backslide. They backslide because they're ignorant. They backslide because they don't pray. They backslide because they want to stay in the prison of God. They backslide because they know the purpose of God. The purpose of God is to be saved. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. So why are you backslide? Yes, you was on fire. Oh, glory to a couple of years ago, you was on fire. But now you are like a coal. You're like Alice in Wonderland. You look you just holler a stone, you like ice box, go to God. But I stop by to tell you, you ought to get back in the race, my friend, because the race that gives to the swift, neither strong, but to them that endure unto the end. I'm not backsliding because there ain't nothing back there. I'm not backsliding to sin. I'm not backsliding to sensation. I'm not backsliding, glory to God, for hell. I'm going forward because one day I want to say, well done, my good and faithful for serving. You've been faithful a few things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. I'm so happy, my friend. I'm not happy because I got money in the bank. I'm not happy because I got a good job. I'm not happy because I live in a mansion. I'm not happy because I got Tesla. I'm happy because of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm happy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, woo. Hallelujah. I'm telling tell people, when you have the Holy Ghost inside of you, glory to God, it will push you because because the Holy Ghost is not feeling. The Holy Ghost is not emotionalism. The Holy Ghost is not something to tickle your fancy. But the Holy Ghost, my friend, hey, glory to God, when you don't feel like saying, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah.
glory to God. 